It's Nike versus Adidas. Just do it versus impossible is nothing. The US versus Europe, two of the best known sports brands in the world. But which stock has the edge? Nike's results sent shares sharply higher. Earnings per share, gross margins and revenue all topped forecasts in the second quarter, with particular strength in China and North America. CEO Mark Parker said the controversial ad campaign with quarterback Colin Kaepernick helped spur engagement. However, some argue the long trade on Nike could be threatened by a strengthening US dollar, the broader market sell-off and global trade tensions. Ben Gutteridge is the head of funds research at Bruin Dolphin and gives his take on the tariff tiff. Trade war concerns would be a, a, a threat for any global trading uh, company. You know, any barriers to trade, any friction to trade puts up costs and uh, delays uh, the, uh, the operational success of a, of a business. So I think Nike and Adidas will be caught up in, that, uh, in those trade, trade conflicts. Meanwhile on Adidas, the company raised its profit forecasts after a strong performance in the first nine months. CEO Kasper Rorsted said it had been a quote, stellar quarter. Adidas is looking to steal market share from Nike and Under Armour in North America by embracing fashion and athleisure. Interestingly, most sales at Adidas come from products which are under a year old. This summer's World Cup in Russia certainly helped Adidas. The German brand sold over 10 million balls and a record number of jerseys. But looking ahead, the European economy could be cause for concern, with nearly a third of sales coming from Western Europe. Last month, Adidas cut its full-year sales outlook on weaker growth expectations. Elsewhere, Reebok continues to be another drag. Since the acquisition in 2005, the brand has struggled to bring profits to Adidas. So which of the two sporting giants is poised for better returns? In terms of how these two companies plan to grow sales, Nike is more focused on materials and performance, whereas Adidas is more attentive to trends and design. While Nike is far larger with better brand awareness, Adidas scores better from a valuation perspective with a lower price to earnings ratio. And for income investors, the German brand has a superior dividend. But Ben Gutteridge has a different view. We do think Nike deserves a premium rating to Adidas. It is the high quality producer. It does focus more on high-end performance sports goods and apparel. It's got great balance sheets and it does afford it a lot of flexibility to keep reinvesting and uh, keep innovating. You know, Adidas is trading well and uh, operation has had a very good couple of years, uh, but there has definitely been a switch in terms of their operational focus away from performance goods uh, towards fashion. And that's great, you know, they've signed up some fantastic names from the music industry in particular, but in terms of the long-term strategy, that gives it a bit more cyclicality and uh, therefore merits a discount relative to Nike. Stock markets are now looking considerably more volatile. There are concerns about global growth and warnings of a potential US recession. To many, late cycle investing means finding diversified, large cap quality stocks. And within retail, arguably, Nike represents just that. Adidas versus Nike, the battle for sporting goods supremacy lives on.